There is a new movie coming to this town. All those involved in this film will now be sworn in. Raise your right hand. Do you solemnly swear that you have done your job in this picture to the best of your ability, James Stewart? I do. Lee Remick? I do. Ben Gazzara? I do. Arthur O'Connell? I do. Eve Arden? I do. Catherine Grant? I do. And you, Duke Ellington? I do. You, Joseph N. Welsh, who temporarily deserted the real law to play Judge Weaver. I do. This is highly irregular. Irregular, John? Didn't you approve the screenplay by Wendell Mays? Yes. Didn't you, when I came up here, suggest that we shoot here in this courtroom? And didn't you yourself suggest every single location for the film, including your own house that you were kind enough to lend us? Well, that's true. And didn't you, being not only a bestseller novelist, but also a justice of the Supreme Court of Michigan, didn't you supervise every single legal detail in the film? Yes, Otto, but you don't have a jury. Oh, that, you see, John, our jury is not just 12 men and women in a box. Our judge and jury sits out there, millions and millions of people in the theaters. <laughs> I fooled my lawyer, I fooled that head shrinker, I'm gonna fool that bunch of corn cobbers on the jury. You're a liar! You're a lousy, stinking liar! Oh, could, could Mark have a little in that ashtray, maybe? He loves beer. You want a beer for the dog? Mm-hmm. Well, there we are. <laughs> He'll go to sleep now. Oh, it's common knowledge in Thunder Bay you were living with Quill? That's not true. Barney Quill was... Was what, Miss Pallant? Barney Quill was what, Miss Pallant? The number one book is now the number one movie, unanimously acclaimed by the press everywhere. This is what the New York Times said about Anatomy of a Murder. Strong suspense, pounding drama, uninhibited and uncensored, well-nigh flawless. Now, until this trial's over, you're going to be a meek little housewife with horn-rimmed spectacles. And you're going to stay away from men and juke joints and booze and pinball machines. And you're going to wear a skirt and low-heeled shoes. And you're going to wear a girdle, and especially a girdle. Why wouldn't I be legally justified in killing the man who raped my wife? Time out. Now, if you'd caught him in the act, the shooting might have been justified. But you didn't catch him in the act. Wow, it's sensational. New York Daily News. One of the most extraordinary films ever made, Los Angeles Times. For those who can stand straight talk, Time Magazine. Well, uh, doesn't a woman sort of instinctively know when a fellow's on the make? Oh, sure. But that's only usual with me. With men, I mean. Almost all men, ever since I was a kid. Did you cry out? Did you scream? Didn't seem to be much use out there in the woods. And this is what other critics said. As tense and thrilling a shocker as has come along in years, Life Magazine, on every count, one of the best films of the year. New York Herald Tribune. Sacco Cinema, don't miss Anatomy of a Murder. New York Post, the details are as plain spoken in the film as in the book. A trial as tense as the one in the novel, Look Magazine. Is that because you know that Barney Quill bathed and changed and cooled off after he raped and beat hell out of this poor woman? Your Honor, everybody in this court is being tried except Frederick Mannion. I must protect... Now listen, this is a cross-examination murder case. It's not a high school debate. What are you and Dancer trying to do? Railroad this soldier into the clink? <laughs> <laughs>